So here it is, plated, evenly cooked, with fries. Alright, this is the uh, finished product. with it and uh, it goes through the grinder just a little bit better uh, so first piece you know it's just uh, cutting it so it'll fit through the little opening uh, usually I use this meat here for jerky um, but I had some extra so I'm just gonna cut it and things slices, not really slices, chunk slices, as if I was going to cube it and uh, drop it down the chute to mix in with uh, my venison, because I'm making venison burgers today, and uh, I'm going to be trying a couple of different recipes that I came up with. I saw some new seasonings that I wanted to uh, experiment with, so um, Cutting the meat so it will fit through the pass through. So, um, I've done, I've kept shavings from my jerky, so I'm going to be using those as well. Um, and stay tuned, well, my venison burgers are coming up, doing stuff with Sea Lat. Well, I've got some um, dough meat that I got uh, this season, November. Nice big dough with my crossbow, so that's what I'm going to be uh, chopping on today. Uh, one of uh, three packs, so I'm going to transfer this on here. Kind of cut it a little bit more. Making venison burgers today. I'm going to be cutting it uh, in such a way make it more smaller to fit into the grinder. And you can see that it's a little um, still frozen at my side. That's not a problem. So, 
I'll be cutting it into pieces like so, just to fit down the chute. The chute is up here on the grinder. So I just want everything to be pass through. All this meat has been washed, in case you were wondering. Washed and ready. Really lean venison. Hear me. So, cutting it up, prepping it for my burgers. This is actually, uh, this meat with how oh. lean that is. Really healthy deer. This would be some good meat for uh, regular jerky, just slices of jerky. But I have other intentions. I've got my uh, beef fat, and I've got some uh, London round that I'm going to be using with these. These are going to make some really good burgers. I'm going to do about three different recipes. One with cheese, uh, one without. So, I'm going to go ahead and prep this on up and keep slicing and uh, I'll get back with you. This is the last year I'm going to be doing for this year because today is New Year's Eve. And so when this is all done, I'll be set for the summer or the spring. Yeah, I'm going for three pounds here because I want to add two pounds of beef and beef fat. So let's see what we got here. Nigga shoot you in your face with it. Now you all out of place with it. Cause you can die any day with it. Send me the Addy, I stay with it. On the ground, he can lay with it. Got about two point with a main nigga. Beef. Send me round up a spray, so nigga. Get you all kind of ways, nigga. I ain't never been a slave, nigga. I don't care where you from or what block you claim. You can die any day, nigga. RP, pop smoke. I'm like really from the hood, though. I might ask you what's good, though. Roll up another wood, bro. Shout out to my big homie. So don't approach okay, me. Like you know, one. 50 shots. That's like good enough for me. Bring me the cheese, you know, the macaroni. Wait. 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 Bring me the cheese, the macaroni. Wait. 1.4. 50 shots. Don't approach me. Like you know me. Got the cheese. Macaroni. 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 When you post it to Russia, right? The discussion gets grinded, it came up from nothing. I'm not a nigga. I named it the fire smoke bacon and cheese burger okay so the ingredients that I'm going to be using today uh, of course the uh, thunder longhorn beef rub uh, so I'm, I've got uh, I think it's like two tablespoons of this so I'm gonna sprinkle this all over 
And then I've got some curing salt because I'm going to store it. So I've got the recommended. I think it's um, three tablespoons of that. I've got a cup of onions that I'm going to be throwing in there. And um, I'm going to finish adding my dry ingredients. I've got a tablespoon of um, garlic that's going in. A tablespoon of onion powder. Yep, with the onion. And then I've got uh, garlic. One tablespoon wet ingredient. Just a heap of it. And then I've got the garlic chili sauce. Um, I'm gonna do two of those, two tablespoons. And then I've got um, two cups of cheese. This is mozzarella and cheddar. And then, of course, the bacon that I already have grinded up, and that's um, one cut. Now, I am going to, uh, I've got a mixer, but I'm saving that for the rest of my meat. I've got like uh, 20 pounds of meat, this is five pounds uh, for this specialty burger here. So I'm gonna just kind of mix this all up by hand. With my specialty burger here. Give it a good mix. I'm not gonna run it back through um, a grinder. I don't want it to have the consistency of the inside of a sausage. This is a hamburger patty. Um, I'm going to press these in my uh, hamburger patty. I got a Winston uh, Weston hamburger patty press. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all of this up and then I'm going to throw this in the refrigerator and let it sit, let it rest for a while because I have got to work on my 20 pounds of meat so I'm going to be grinding that up mix this for about what two three minutes or so make sure the cheese and onion and all the seasonings are pretty much mixed together then cover it and put it in the refrigerator and this, uh, this meat is already cold, I'm working with. So I don't want it to go bad while I'm filming here. So that looks about good and about right. Looks like every bite will have an onion and every bite will have a piece of cheese and bacon. So I'm gonna flatten this out and uh, Throw it in the refrigerator. All right. So I've started making my burgers. Uh, this particular one uh, that I'm uh, putting in these bags is uh, fire and smoke, bacon, onion, and cheese. Just some of the ingredients so I can identify, you know, which one is what. So reaching across, I'm gonna grab one of my dividers. And I've made little balls here, little meatballs. Take it here, kind of get it started, press it a little bit. Pull this down. Just press on it. Uh, there is some uh, squeeze out, just a tiny bit, about that much. And I just add it to the others. Not too much. It's fitting right into the palm. After that, kind of lift it up. Just turn it a little bit, peel it off. This comes right off. And the finishing, I mean, there you go with the burger. But I go ahead and uh, put my thumb in here. That way when you cook it, it doesn't shrink. Just do that right there. 
put it right here, put a sheet on top of it, and go to the next one. It's that simple. I'll do one more, and then uh, we're gonna call it quits with the filming. And I'll finish the rest of these burgers and put them in the freezer after I put them in the bags. As simple as that. Press. Hold it for a second or two. Lift it up. Peel her off. Really quick, really fast. Thumb in the middle. There you go. Thanks for watching Doing Stuff with C-Lab. Stand up. You are a king.